Hello and welcome to day one of preparation for total consecration according to the spirit of St. Maximilian Kolbe. Let's get started. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Day one, spiritual childhood. At that time, the disciples came to Jesus saying, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? And calling to him a child, he put him in the midst of them and said, Truly I say to you, unless you turn and become like children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever humbles himself like this little child, he is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. When our Lord spoke these holy words, he thought of you. He had in his mind a specific father for you, his own father, the one who is in heaven. He also had in his mind a specific mother for you, his very own mother, Mary. He proclaimed her to you publicly from the cross before he died, saying, Behold your mother. But he made you her child ever since the Annunciation and the Incarnation. Jesus and you are members of the same family. He is your brother because you both have the same father and mother. Jesus, the Son of God and the Son of Mary, wants you to become perfectly like him, a child of God and a child of Mary. If you take careful note that our Lord loves to call himself the Son of Man in the Holy Gospels, you will understand that it is because he loves to remind you of his virginal conception and birth from Mary. Rejoice in this grace which he has deigned to share with you. The Church teaches us that ever since the second person of the Holy Trinity became man and our brother in the womb of Mary, any relationship with him and his father will imply a mother-son relationship with Mary as well. If, therefore, you wish to be a true child of God and an heir of the kingdom of your heavenly Father, you must love your spiritual mother, and you must love her as Jesus loves her. Think what a special gift our Lord wants to bestow upon you. Whoever humbles himself like this little child, he is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. He wants to give you the grace of perfect spiritual childhood and therefore also the greatest and most special place in his kingdom, close to his heavenly mother and yours. What joy must fill your heart at this amazing thought of the goodness of Jesus towards you. Now let us turn to page 77 for our daily prayers. If you can please kneel in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Act of Adoration of the Most Holy Trinity by St. Maximilian Kolbe. I adore you, our Heavenly Father, because you have deigned to place in the most pure womb of Mary your only begotten Son. I adore you, O Son of God, because you condescended to enter the womb of Mary and became truly her actual Son. I adore you, O Holy Spirit, because you deigned to form in her immaculate womb the body of the Son of God. I adore you, O most holy trinity, one God in the holy trinity, for having exalted the immaculate in such a divine way. And I will never cease daily, from the first moment I awake, to adore you most humbly, O divine trinity, with my face to the ground, repeating three times. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as it is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as it is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. The Act of Trust in the Immaculate by St. Maximilian Kolbe Dearest Mother, Deign to do with me whatever is pleasing to you for the greatest glory of God. I am yours, my dearest Immaculate Mother. You see how miserable I am, walking along the edge of a precipice, full of self-love. If you release me from your Immaculate hands for even only one instant, I will be the first to fall into the most grievous sins and into the bottom of hell. But if you do not let go of me, although this is something of which I am completely unworthy, and if you will lead me, I will surely not fall, and I will become a saint, a great saint. 
O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to you and for all who do not have recourse to you, especially for the enemies of the Holy Church and those recommended to you. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. That's it. That concludes day one of preparation for our total consecration to the Virgin Mary. Look at the timestamp. That did not take that long at all. Normally, after we go through our readings and do our prayers, that's when I will give any news and announcements that might be relevant for your consecration. And I will also offer some commentary, some reflection on the day's reading or on consecration in general. These are optional, but I do encourage you to do them. Today, I'm not going to offer any commentary or reflection. I will just give you a couple of points of news and announcements. So if you do not have this book, I will put links in the comments and in the description where you can get the book. If the book isn't available in your country, I put the readings in the actual video itself. Soon they will be offering an e-version of it for Kindle, etc. I want to encourage you, please persevere in this. There's very few shortcuts in life, and this is one of them. The fastest, the sweetest, the most secure path to Jesus Christ is with, in, and through the Virgin Mary. And when we give our lives totally over to God, when we surrender everything, and we do that through Mary, I can assure you a lot of things are going to happen if you persevere in this consecration. First and foremost, your heart will have peace because you will fulfill God's mission and the purpose that He has for your life. So peace is going to flood your soul. Two, it's going to forever change your family life. When you give your life totally over to God and you allow the grace of God to flow into your life, especially through the sweet hands of the Virgin Mary, it's going to change the way you treat other people. It's going to change the way you suffer. It's going to change the way you sacrifice. It's going to change the way you receive your sacraments. It's going to elevate every facet of your life. This is a complete game changer. So I encourage you, go all in. If for some reason you get behind, don't get behind. Catch up. There's a saying from G.K. Chesterton, if something is worth doing, it's worth doing poorly. Don't let your desire to do it perfectly keep you from doing something that's really going to change your life for the good. I'll be praying for you. I encourage you. Persevere, persevere, persevere. God bless you. God love you. And we'll see you tomorrow.